I'm Vicky Hill, Clinical Psychology Lead in Specialist Mental Health Services for Children and Young People in RISE. I'd like to talk to you about anxiety and share some ideas with you about how we can manage this. I might look down from time to time because I've made some notes to make sure I don't forget what I want to tell you. Anxiety is sometimes called feeling worried, feeling anxious, feeling stressed, feeling nervous. All these terms relate to the same thing and that is that feeling of anxiety that we all have because we're human. Feeling anxious has actually helped to keep us alive for the time we have been around on this planet. So we know that it's natural and normal, every person has it and we're particularly likely to feel anxious when we're going through times of change and Covid-19 has created lots of change for us. We're not able to go to school and college in the same way, parents aren't able to work like they did before, we can't have contact with our friends and our families in the same ways, so our routines are disrupted. This can create this general feeling of anxiety that increases overall. So we do know that we all share this, these feelings and we do know as well that it's okay to not be feeling okay. It's important that we understand that anxiety happens because our brains and our body work in a very clever way to keep us safe. We have a threat perhaps, our brain detects that there's a threat to our safety and it creates adrenaline, sends a message to the body to create adrenaline. That hormone enables us to stand and fight the threat or run away from it or freeze until the threat is gone. You might have heard of the fight, flight or freeze response. Well, we have that response to COVID, but we don't need to do those things with COVID. So we're left with the adrenaline in our bodies all the time. And this creates these very unpleasant, uncomfortable, anxious feelings. What we can do, however, is tackle this in two ways. One way through our body and the other through our mind, through our brain. So what we can do with our body is to keep active, do as many things as possible that will hopefully be fun, do some sporting activities. If it's safe to do so, do things with other people. Keep our bodies moving and active and that will use up the adrenaline in a positive and healthy way and then it won't remain there creating uncomfor uncomfortable feelings for us. So that's one thing we can do with our body. The other thing is the opposite and that is to be as calm and rested as possible. And we achieve that by doing um, ex exercises like breathing exercises and relaxation exercises. Breathing might sound simple, but sometimes we forget just to do that very simple thing. Something that might help you remember if you're having a panicky or anxious feeling is to just using your hand, breathe in on the up stroke and down out on the down stroke. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out and do that across your hand until you feel calm enough. You can do that very discreetly. People don't need to know what you're doing with your hand and that will help you to calm. Another good time to do relaxation is perhaps at bedtime when you're lying in your bed. Try some deep muscle relaxation or some other general relaxation exercises that will help calm you and dispel some of that adrenaline and get your brain more ready for sleep. Some of the exercises and ideas are linked on the rest of this page about anxiety. So those are two things that you can do with your body, the very active and then the relaxing and calming, the soothing yourself. There are then things that we can do with our mind and we can look through the apps and things that are also mentioned on this page. So we can look at links to activities like CBT, that's Cognitive Behaviour Therapy, if we look those up, it will help us understand the links between our thoughts and our feelings and our behaviours. That's what the CBT is standing for. We can also look for mindfulness exercises and apps. This is something that we can do very easily. It takes practice, but once you've got to it, you can do it quite easily. And it's about soothing and calming your mind. So those are two things that I would recommend. We need to get to a stage where we can still our thoughts and stop our minds from racing so quickly. Try those things. Best of luck for making a difference to yourself. Keep trying 
And if you can follow these tips, follow some of the guidance and the books maybe that you see on this on the Trust website, then those things will hopefully be successful to you. It's important to put yourself in charge of the anxiety rather than the anxiety being in charge of you. Good luck.